Hello there, once again, Ninjago and of course Chima fans as well. It's been three long years now, three long years of literally no communication whatsoever on my part. And you've been commenting, you've been watching, you've been subscribing for the past three years, and I am incredibly thankful for that. I've just, like everyone else in life, been leading uh, a busy, busy lifestyle, and unfortunately it doesn't really allow for video making. So when I do get the chance, which is ultra rare, as we can tell, once per three years, um, I seize it. So I today will be just listening to some of the classic soundtracks from both Ninjago and Chima. I will listen to three soundtracks per theme and see and commentate which ones I like. There will be no preference over themes or bias. It will just be something to listen to and enjoy because I personally do enjoy both soundtracks of both themes even though I'm not exactly oh, young but I can still personally enjoy both themes and music comes with them so without further ado let us begin the trials of the music before the music continues I'd just like to make it clear I have not actually listened to any of these for a long long time I've literally found them on my computer put them straight onto the editing suite and I'm listening to them as I'm recording this so these reactions will be genuine I've also cut it down just because you know logistics and stuff but the beginning sweep of this the flute is just really really serene because I think this is my song I really used to love in Chima Yes, I've cut it a bit now. Okay. That's right, it has a jungle bit, kind of... Yeah. And I think it's got the penny whistle in this bit. It's got a Celtic instrument. Really fantastic instrument, and I absolutely adore it in any piece of music. So you've got the chords there, you've got the strings. Yeah. Oh, I have so many fun memories of this song. Here we go. This is great. I absolutely love that bit there. And it gets even better. I think it's a crescendo. This gets louder and louder. Come. Hopefully. I love that bit there, just a penny whistle. And I think that's a song I had the fondest memories of from Chima. I think that was my one I always used to think about um, outside of the show. So, credit to Anthony Lado for that. Brilliant piece of music. Next one. I have changed it up, so it's going to be Ninjago, Chima, Chima, Ninjago, etc, etc. So one, and then the other. One, and then the other. And I do remember this one. I don't think it's my favourite. It's certainly one I did like, though. I think the Falcon Chase was my favourite. I don't know if I've got that on my list. i just got a few random ones I can find on my computer. But here we go. Dun. This is season one, and it certainly has an epic music kind of vibe. It's more like a full orchestra, even though they never actually used an orchestra, it was just done on a computer. You got the Ninjago theme. There we go. See, I do remember this. And it goes a bit darker. It's kind of hopeful at the beginning, and it goes a bit darker. And more humble. Look at those strings in the background, not chords. And that flute. It's always a Ninjago theme, always a Ninjago motive, just playing. Any chance they get, they're going to slip it in there, and they do it a lot in the theme music, especially in this one. I 
I think I've got the whole song on here. I haven't actually edited it for some reason. I'll make sure I do that for the next one. I think it's a bit positive. Oh, this is when... No, no, this is Zane, isn't it? This is when Zane appears. Is it? No, 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 I'm thinking it's like a completely different... No, I do like that one. Uh, it's not my favourite. I do like that one. I just... No, it's still going. No, this is, this is when Zane appears, isn't it? He appears over the edge. Or not. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully someone can tell me I'm wrong or right. Probably wrong. Another team one. And I do like this one not as much as the other one and I do remember it I remember them all, I do remember them all because I had to put these on YouTube at some point, if anyone actually remembers that it'd be a veteran to remember that stuff, a veterans award for anyone who remembers me putting up Anthony Lado soundtracks for Chima, those are the days God. when we were young young and innocent See what I will say about Chima, and I, I kind of like it more. It's not it's less oriental sounding, and there's a lot more flutes. There's a lot more woodwind. No, no, there are strings as well. It, it just sounds it's more mel. Mm, no, is it? There's just a nicer melody with it. It's more peaceful. It is very natural sounding, very calm. I just love that. It's, it's such a lovely, lovely tune. It's sort of almost on. You know, people are going to knock this, but it is somewhat on par with the quality of movie soundtracks. A lot of movie soundtracks nowadays are very generic. A very generic kind of battle music. Fighting other man. But this is actually genuinely. It's middle middle range. Because what you, can say, what you can say about Lego is they can at least afford to pay good artists to do this. And I've read a lot of good reviews about this music. Not from Mad Men, from actual big critics. And the thing is, uh, the theme is pretty much the same throughout, apart from that bit at the end, the crescendo. It's a still going. I am listening to it, if, if you want to know. I'm just trying to talk over it at the same time. It's really, really, it's really nice music. I won't even have time to talk over this one, so this is Jay in the elevator. I do like it. It's really nice. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's elevator music. There's not much more you can really say about it. It's nice. You know, you listen to it. Not really on repeat. There you go. That's it. That's it. It's done. It lasts about 20 seconds. Well, it's 20 seconds of my life I'm actually happy to spend. Um, yeah, I have heard that one numerous times, perhaps too many, and people say, oh, well, you could have used Flight of the Falcon, or, or the other good ones, or the other good Ninjago themes, not using it as a very good example. I know Jay in the Elevator is not a good example, it's short, it's not using all the variety and all the potential of the rest of the music. However, that is all I had on my computer, and that is all I am going to put on there, because that's the part and the point of this whole video, is just what I have on my computer I'm going to listen to. So there you go, that's what I have on my computer, and I listen to it, and I like it. I almost prefer it over the Chima, one we just heard before, just because it's nicer. Right, here we go, the last Chima one. And this one is, well, Chi, pretty simple, short, sweet, does the job. And there's another dramatic one. You, you have to say about Chima soundtrack. What Anthony Lado did is made it sound epic. He put the music in there, making it sound... Yeah, it was a Lego show. If this was added to an anime cartoon, or it's like some actual full feature-length film using real-life live-action actors, this music would make it so much more epic. It does the show justice, but in a completely different league, it would do even more for an actual proper film or show that's live action and it's just such wonderful music I would actually invest in a film that would actually have this listen to it you know? 
I think this is the initial one that I think Sir Fluminox did that video. You remember that one? We are the Phoenix and all that kind of stuff. I did that, and um, oh, those were the days. Those were the days. It is really, uh, it's really nice. I do like it. I, I still think that you can't compare Ninjago and Chima themes. They are completely different. They are completely different bits of music. And I'm going to get a humongous copyright strike for this, but who gives a damn? It goes for a lot longer than I remember. A lot longer. Still going. But there is a lot of woodwind, there's a lot of flutes in this. Flutes and strings, which makes up most orchestras and most music. Most orchestral scores. I am actually genuinely enjoying this. This is a very nice bit of music. Hmm. I actually don't remember how this goes at all. <laughs> this, is, this is a bit of a refresher for me. It is, it's just really dramatic, isn't it? Please let me know how dramatic you think that is. I think it's just, it, it's in a completely different league. I don't think the show actually does it justice, the music. The show's great, but the music's something completely different. And I, and I like a bit of music, now and again. And here we go, the last Ninjago one. J. Vincent Soundtrack X1 Joyride. This was used and is still used multiple times throughout the series, from what I've heard. I think this is some of the fans' favourite music. Based on Daft Punk. Supposedly, anyway, that's what the creators of the music said. The composers, should we say. It is a bit funky, isn't it? A bit funky. Funky. I recall this being a very long um, piece of music. I might need to cut this thinking about that. Yes, I just think about that. That is along with the music. Uh, right. I better look into that, actually. What's in here? Um, can we do that? I would certainly like to. Videos. They always play the Ninjago theme in this. There's always a motif. It's not motive. I know. I know. I'm saying it wrong. Motif. They always do it. Increase your limit. How do you increase your limit? I don't want to upload videos longer than 15 minutes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hopefully, we're not going to exceed 15 minutes. I'm sure we don't. You guys watch that, make sure I don't, okay? Keep watching that timer. <laughs> make sure it doesn't reach 15, let me know if it does. Actually, I've got to say, the video footage I've got in the background after this is pretty fitting to the actual music, because it actually pretty much happens around the same time. Give or take, same theme. I think Rebooted is my favourite series, if anyone does want to know. Only because of the memories, I suppose. Because I was around with the initial fan base when... The th oh, was I actually? Was I? Because... No, I don't think I was. Because when it supposedly got cancelled, you know, Ninjago got cancelled, everyone freaked out. We all remember that one. I wasn't into it at the time. I was like, I think I was a Gmail fan at the time. I wasn't really phased. Yeah, no, I did like that bit of music. Um, not my favourite, but I know it's such a recurring theme in the job. You can't not really like it. You have to kind of tolerate it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching that, guys. Um, hopefully we have more content for you, but you never know. Might see you in another three years' time. Thank you for watching. So for Luminox, 